Hey there, I'm James. Quick disclaimer, I am not a programmer. I'm not a sysadmin. I am not a computer scientist. I'm not an expert on this field. So if I get something wrong, please let me know in the comments. I would be glad to be corrected. Anyway, these are my top five reasons why I use Linux. Open source means many eyeballs, and many eyeballs means no back doors, and it means fewer bugs. If you're really paranoid, you can compile your entire operating system kernel and all from source. If you're really, really paranoid, you could write your own C compiler and assembly, bootstrap GCC from there, and then compile your entire operating system. The way permissions work on a Linux-based system is kind of a big deal. You see, Windows users are admins by default. Hi, I'm a random file. Can I execute? I'm going to take that random click on a banner ad as such. Linux users, however, need to explicitly invoke root using sudo. Hi, I'm a random file. Can I execute? Yeah, I'm going to need the user to sudo chmod x and then enter their password. And then he'll need to explicitly execute you. No system is impenetrable, but backdoors, exploits, you know, and all that, they tend not to last as long on an open source system. And by free, I mean free as in hugs. We'll talk about free as in Willy in a moment. The OS is free, the software is free, unlike... Who has the fucking money for that? I don't. I don't. Linux package management is awesome. Just sudo apt-get install, and it's done. Uh, dependencies are resolved. There's no need to restart. It just, just, it's just there, and it works. It's ready to use right out of the box. Updating is really easy. It happens when you want it to. More on this later. There's also no need for individual updaters for every single program. If you ever up, have you ever booted up Windows and then found that it ran like a novice drag queen in heels because Adobe and Java and Windows itself and every single other program is all updating at once? It doesn't happen on Linux. Four, you can get under the hood. Customizability scales pretty well with programming skill. It starts off pretty customizable for noobs, and for programmers, it gets even better especially seasoned ones. A Linux distribution is just a series of packages. You can swap them out, change them, build the system that you want. Don't like the GUI? You can change it. There's all kinds of user-friendly uh, graphical user interface programs to help you change that. But you don't have to use them. You can just open the config file and change it. It lets you do that. Because it's your system. You can. Which brings us to the command line. Sweet Jesus, the command line. It's For new users, it's kind of like Boo Radley. It's scary at first, but soon it will be saving your ass from a drunken Bob Ewell. There's tools for everything. Here's a clip of He-Man using grep for the first time. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It does what I tell it to. This may be the most important reason for me, but on my Linux Lappy, it boots up when I tell it to, and it shuts down when I tell it to. Oh, you want me to shut down? I'll, uh, uh hang on, let me, let me install a few dozen updates. I'll, uh, but make sure not to close the lid, because then I'll go to sleep, and, you know, I'll just finish them the next time you want to use me. I hate to go all Doctoro on you, but... Companies like Microsoft, Apple, and Google, they consider their software theirs even after they sell it to you. Kind of like the goblins in Harry Potter. On your computer, there are places you cannot go. There are things you cannot do. They go out of their way to make sure that the environment is pretty because they don't want you to recognize the environment for what it truly is. A cage. 
I think my computer is my own. It's my device. I paid money for it. It belongs to me. I should be able to tell what processes are running on it and kill whichever ones I don't like. I should be able to modify or alter any files I choose, even down to the kernel itself. I should be able to tweak or change anything that suits me. I should be able to explore the possibilities of computing. And on GNU Linux, I can. If you're interested in trying Linux, I've left a few links in the description bar that should help you get started. You can try before you install, so don't be afraid to shop around. Uh, if you have any other topics that you'd like my unqualified opinion on, leave a comment in the comment box below. Be sure to like, share, or subscribe, and, well, I'll see you next time. Thank you.